This video is sponsored by Ugrade. Hi everyone, Ta here. In my opinion, one of the most underrated uses for a tablet is using it as an extra screen for your computer. It's such a productivity booster, having that extra screen to multitask and just organize my workspace. This is especially true when I'm working off something like a laptop, for example. In front of me are the best tablet offerings from two of the most recognizable brands in mobile tech, Apple's M1 iPad Pro and Samsung's newly launched Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. Both are massive in size and equally massive in price. Considering how expensive they are, the more use I can get out of them, the more I can sort of justify the price I paid for them. Both these tablets have the ability to be used as a makeshift portable monitor. The iPad can of course be paired with a Mac via sidecar and the Galaxy Tab can be paired with any Windows machine via a feature called second screen. Setup for both is relatively simple. Starting with the iPad, you need to make sure that you're signed into iCloud with the same Apple ID on both devices. From there, just go to the display menu in the control center on your Mac and choose your iPad. You could also just hover your pointer over the full screen button on any window, then choose move to iPad, which will activate the feature automatically. On the Galaxy tab, tap second screen from the quick panel, then hit the window plus K shortcut on your computer. Select your Galaxy tab and you're good to go. You probably noticed that Samsung gives you the option to choose between two connection modes, one for a faster response and one for better visuals. Unless you're doing a presentation on your tablet, I stick with the faster response mode. By default, there's gonna be black bars on the top and bottom, which don't look great, but if you download the second screen app from Samsung on the Windows Store, it fixes that issue. You'll also notice this tiny menu that pops up whenever you're using the second screen feature. I find it a little distracting, Thankfully, you can hit this unpin icon and hide it. So in terms of getting things up and running, there's a bit more housekeeping to be done on the Galaxy tabs. Real quick though, with most brands no longer providing charging bricks in the box, today's sponsor, Ugreen, might just have the perfect solution. This is their 4-in-1 100 watts gallium nitride charger, supplying up to 100 watts of power. Yeah, you heard me, 100 watts. The compact design makes this perfect for decluttering your workspace or as a travel charger. Forget carrying a different charger for each of your devices. You can fast charge your laptop, phone, tablet, and anything else you might have all at the the same time. Most importantly, it can intelligently adjust the power output to protect your product's battery, meaning it'll charge more efficiently while generating less heat. If you're looking for a great all-in-one charging solution, use my code to take 30% off your order. In terms of customizing the experience, both will give you the typical external display options. You can make the tablet your main display, have it mirror exactly what's on your computer, which is useful for something like a presentation, or have it extend your display, which is how I think most of us will be using it. You can also rearrange exactly where your tablet is in relation to your computer on both. This makes sure your mouse will flow properly to the tablet when moving stuff around. On Windows, you have a few more display options like adjusting the resolution or scale of the display, and you can even use the Galaxy tab in the portrait orientation if that's what you wanted. I do like that that's an option. In terms of sound, when using Sidecar, audio will only play out of the Mac speakers, whereas the Galaxy Tab plus Windows setup, you have the option to decide what speakers the audio will play out of. Why is that helpful? Well, if you have a laptop with terrible speakers, it might be a better idea to use the speakers on your tablet instead. The iPad has a couple of unique features, the touch bar and sidebar, which you can enable or disable in the settings. The sidebar has touch controls for things like undo, bringing up the dock or menu bar, and pulling up the on-screen keyboard. If you own a MacBook with a touch bar, the touch bar here is exactly the same thing. Controls will change based on what you're doing on the screen. For example, if you're watching a YouTube video, a timeline will appear allowing you to scrub through the video. One big advantage of second screen on the Galaxy Tab is that it has full touchscreen functionality. Sidecar on the iPad doesn't support touch with your fingers at all. If you have an Apple Pencil, you can do some basic things, but it's nowhere near as intuitive as an actual touchscreen. I'll admit, Windows can be a little clunky with touch controls, but I still find it extremely helpful for scrolling through a web page, for example. On top of that, once you enable pen input, the S Pen also plays surprisingly well with Windows. 
You can hover over menus and even use handwriting to text and search boxes. Let's say you walk away from your laptop and it times out. Both tablets will automatically disconnect. With a sidecar, I appreciate that it will automatically reconnect when I wake the laptop back up. Sometimes it takes a few seconds, but it'll reconnect on its own. With a second screen, you'll have to manually reconnect it if your laptop does go to sleep. Okay, what if you want to use an app on the tablet itself? Well, the good news is both will allow you to do that and then easily jump right back into external display mode. On the iPad, Sidecar gets treated like an app, so it's pretty straightforward. On the Galaxy Tab, to reconnect, just hit this icon here to jump right back into second screen mode. When it comes to stability and performance, if you have good Wi-Fi, both will get the job done but I have run into some hiccups on both. The iPad occasionally freezes on me and forces me to reconnect, whereas the Galaxy Tab will get really grainy and stutter from time to time. If you're trying to get work done, the last thing you want to deal with are connection problems like this. It's frustrating and just throws off your momentum. Where the iPad really shines is that you can actually use Sidecar via a wired connection for a much more reliable experience. Just plug a cable into both, turn off Wi-Fi on the tablet, and start up Sidecar. Not only does this solve the freezing issue, there's also zero delay. This is by far the best way to use the feature. With second screen on the Galaxy Tab, there's no wired connection option at all, which is kind of disappointing. I wish they offered it. Hopefully, Samsung and Microsoft will make it happen in the future, but in the meantime, if you want something more stable, there's an Android app called Super Display that I personally use. It gives you that same second screen functionality, but with the option to use a wired connection. It's way more stable, and you can even run the tablet at 120 hertz, which makes everything feel so much more fluid. The app does come with a one-time payment of $13, but they offer a three-day trial so you can try it out before dropping any money. Honestly, if you have solid Wi-Fi, you could probably make the wireless connection thing work. But with spotty Wi-Fi, it's gonna be a stuttery mess. Overall, I have to give it to Apple. My experience with Sidecar, especially with a wired connection, has been top notch. It works without much tinkering and is such a nice way to set up a dual display workflow when you're on the go. The second screen feature from Samsung ain't too shabby either. It feels like the start to something that could be amazing, especially with how open-ended Windows and Android are. I love that it has full touch functionality and works really well with the S Pen. They definitely need to give us an option to use a wired connection though, because wireless can be so hit or miss. A bad connection completely kills the experience. As usual, thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, I'm out of here.